Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today I want to show you how to create a t-shirt mock-up. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to get notified with new updates. As you can see here, I uh, did it with my own logo and here basically it's more lighter and here it has like more shadows because uh, it tried to mimic these areas of the t-shirt, how it bends. It here is like more shadows and same thing kind of goes in here. So it, it, it looks like it, it's real. It looks pretty realistic. So what we want to do is actually what I want to do is like delete these and um, just copy paste your uh, logo or design what you would like to edit here. Uh, I'm going to do it with my logo. I'm going to hit control T so you can scale the logo down. Press shift plus alt. So you can scale it perfectly. Uh, yeah, this dimension is pretty good. Double click on it. From here, we're going to go to the layer and double click on the layer. And here is this little handle thing going on. And if you drag the handle, it's going to try to burn out some of the areas. Uh, I'm going to when it starts to burn out, basically I start, I, I want to, I want to press and hold alt and just uh, click on this little arrow. And this way it cuts the arrow in two pieces from here. I'm going to press this here. As you can see, it starts to make the logo more realistic. I mean, it starts to give like more light, and more shadows. So yeah, you just need to play around with the handles should go somewhere around this area don't go too wild uh if i bring this too much uh it starts to destroy and pixelate the whole image so this should go down so it's like more soft in there and uh, if i play around with this handle only it's gonna make it more soft i think okay it should be somewhere out here uh, basically the image got destroyed a little bit because it's smaller and it's low quality also, but uh, yeah. You can also create a new copy of this layer and go back on, on the options and do another thing like cut this thing in two piece with Alt, press and hold Alt, and you can do the same stuff. And I did make a little bit more smoother But it really depends like where you and how you want to adjust this. See that there's a lot of noise going on, um, but it's more lighter also. And with this, it's like less noise going on. It's it also is realistic because these areas are like more gray and these areas are like black with the shadows. If you want to play around with even more adjustments, you can uh, bring the opacity down. Right now it's on 100%. I bring down to 77 or something like that. To zero is like really sharp. On 55 it starts to get better. And these uh, destroyed and pixelated areas start to disappear if I put it on 100 because we made this new uh, layer. I think 78 is pretty good for this one. Or, but yeah, you can play around with it with different colors and different options. But yeah, this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And have a great day. Bye bye.